morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O Sacred Feast, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you, you gave us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Five Joyful Mysteries The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second joyful mystery is the visitation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third joyful mystery is the birth of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O, o Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise not our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever-glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant to beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted, you entrusted our, our Savior to the to care of Saint Joseph. Joseph. By, By the, the help, help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, that our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, 
and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Monday, the memorial of the Passion of St. John the Baptist. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lamb of God on this feast of St. John, who went before Christ in life and in death. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship the Lamb, Lamb of God on this feast of St. John, who went before Christ in life and in death. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rope who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the Lamb of God on this feast of St. John, who went before Christ in life and in death. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship the Lamb of God on this feast of St. John, who went before Christ in life and in death. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flock his shepherds. Come, let us worship the Lamb of God on this feast of St. John, who went before Christ in life and in death. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the Lamb of God on this feast of St. John, who went before Christ in life and in death. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the Lamb of God on this feast of St. John, who went before Christ in life and in death. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lamb of God on this feast of St. John, who went before Christ in life and in death. Please be seated. The Lord extended His hand and touched my lips. He ordered me to prophesy to the nations. O God, You are my God. For you I long, for you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life, in your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a good and holy man, and guarded him carefully. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Although John's words disturbed him greatly, Herod enjoyed listening to John. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of his faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's son exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who will that Saint John the Baptist should go ahead of your Son, both in his birth and in his death, grant that as he died a martyr for truth and justice, we too might fight hard for the confession of what you teach through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you, except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling, 
and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, I love your commands. Lord, I love your commands. How I love your law, O Lord. In, it is my meditation all the day. Lord, I love your commands. Your command has made me wiser than my enemies, for it is ever with me. Lord, I love your commands. I have more understanding than all my teachers, when your decrees are my meditation. Lord, I love your commands. I have more discernment than the elders, because I observe your precepts. Lord, I love your commands. From every evil way, I withhold my feet, that I may keep your words. Lord, I love your commands. From your ordinances, I turn not away, for you have instructed me. Lord, I love your commands. Please stand. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. And with your spirit, a proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Herod was the one who had John the Baptist arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John has said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him he speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. She had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. Herodias' own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? She replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests, he did not wish to break his word for her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison. He brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl in turn gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa ating ibanghelyo, sinasalarawan ang dalawang taong parehong mukhang baliw. Ang kanilang anyo at kilos ay wala sa standard. Una, si Juan Bautista. 
Pinalipas ang kanyang buhay sa ilang. Doon, nabuhay siya sa pagkain ng pulupokyutan at balang. Locus and honey at nakadamit ng hinabing buhok ng kamelyo. Oh, pag nakita nyo dyan, ang taong gano'n na naglalaka dito sa kali ng manawag, baka mapagkamalan yung taong grasa. Masabi nyo, baliw ba yun? Sa totoo lang, mukhang baliw, pero sa katotohanan, matinong matino. Bakit kanyo? Bakit siya nanatili sa ilang? Sapagkat tinawag siya ng Diyos upang ipahayag ang pagdating ng Mesiyas, ang berbo, ipapahayag ang salita ng Diyos. Kaya kinakailangan niyang pakinggang mabuti ang tinig ng Diyos. O sa inyo mapapakinggan ang tinig ng Diyos? Sa palengke, hindi, sapagkat doon maingay. Ang Diyos nasa palengke, pero hindi nyo doon maririnig ang tinig ng Diyos. Sapagkat maraming nagkukumpitensyang mga boses na nagsisigawan. Abanda rito, abanda rito, baratilyo, baratilyo, wala na lima piso, sampo piso na laman dito. May hila, may, mayroon pang hila na kasama. Paano magiging makahulugan at may focus ang pag-uusap nyo ng mga seryosong bagay? Kaya kung gusto nyo makipag-usap na talagang ibig nyo maunawa na sinasabi ng kausap nyo, humanap kayo ng tahimik na lugar sa anyon. O para kay Juan Bautista, yung ilang wilderness, a desert-like place. Kaya yung mga pilosopo dito, sasabihin nila, ang Diyos naman eh, nasa lahat ng lugar bakit kinakailangan ka pa pumunta sa simbahan para doon makinig ng misa? Eh, makikinig eh. Kaya nga may simbahan. Sapakat doon tahimik. Ang Diyos, nasa lahat ng dako, nasa divisoria yan. Nasa dagupan market yan. Pero, ang tinig ng Diyos, hindi nyo doon mapapakinggan, kundi sa katahimikan ng simbahan. Kaya nga nung araw, eh, ewan ko ngayon, kung ang mga bahay nyo, eh meron pang mga altar. Nung araw, mga bahay may mga altar pa. Pag meron gustong manahimik at magnilay-nilay, magrosaryo ng tahimik, may isang sulok doon na pwede niyang pakinggan ang salita at tinig ng Diyos. O, oh, yun ang ginawa ni Juan Bautista. O, bakit naman yung suot niya? Eh, hinabing buhok ng kamelyo. Alam niyo yung kamelyo, yan eh, nakakita na kayo, maski sa litrato, ginagamit yan sa paglalakbay, sa mga ilang, sa mga disyerto, kaya yung buhok niyan, mabisang pananggalang para sa kaligtasan ng katawan ng kamelyo sa pabago-bagong panahon, climate change. Kaya si Juan Bautista, yung ginawa niyang suot para nang sa ganun sa kanyang pagtira dun sa ilang, protektado siya sa pabago-bagong panahon. O bakit naman balang at pulupokyutan? Eh wala namang McDonald's sa Jollibee doon, ano? Sa kayo makakakita doon ay eh, puro buhangin at doon lang masyadong vegetation at halaman. Eh di mga, doon mga kulisap lang ngayon na naggagapang-gapang doon. O di yun ang kinain niya. Kung ano meron, kinain ni Juan Bautista. Hmm. 
Marami namang vitamin at mineral yun, baka hindi nyo alam. O, yun. Praktikal, ano? Akala nyo, luko-luko si Juan Bautista? Praktikal. Ang kanyang mga hakbang, para nang sa ganun, makapagsilbi siya sa Diyos. O, ito isa naman, na mukha rin luko-luko, baliw. At talagang baliw. Sino yun? Si Haring Herodes. Ganda-ganda ng suot. Hari eh, malaking to. Magalang-galang. Pero sa loob, hindi na disente, bulok pa yung loob. Ano yung patakaran niya sa buhay? O ano gusto niya masusunod? O ano gusto niya masusunod? Nagustuhan yung asawa ng kapatid. Kinuha niya. Ginawa niya yung asawa niya. Rin. Nagtanong ba siya, tama ba yun o mali? Kaya nga sinabi ni Juan Bautista, Hoy, asawa ng kapatid mo yan, ano? Bakit mo gagawin yung asawa mo? Oo, oh, kaya doon nagkaroon ng galit yung asawa ni Herodes kay Juan Bautista sapagkat kritiko. Eh, ito namang si Herodes na hari ng Galilea o hindi naman tinatanong kung tama o mali, kung ano gusto niya, ayun na mangyayari. Gusto niya yung asawa ng kanyang kapatid. Kinuha. Sinayawan lang nung anak ni Herodias. Sinayawan ng maganda-ganda sa harapan ni Herodes. O, tapos sabi niya, ano, ano premyo mo? Ang ganda mong magsayaw. Ay, yung ulo ni Juan Bautista. Uh, nagtanong ba siya? Kung tama o mali, yung hinihingi ng bata sa udyok ng kanyang nanay. Hindi. Putol ang ulo ni Juan Bautista. Kung ano magustuhan? Yung tao, kung ano magustuhan at yun ay gustong mangyari, may sira yan. Kung yun lang gusto niya ang ibig mangyari. Tulad ko, o tanungin niyo ako, bakit ako nasa Manawag? Tanda ko na nito, oh, si Tenta plus 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 na ako, no? Tanungin niyo ako, bakit ako, bakit ako nasa Manawag? At kung isasagot ko sa inyo, Father, bakit ba kayo nandito sa Manawag? Eh, gusto ko eh. Diyos ko, ano sabihin niyo, hindi na kayo bata. Kung bata kayo, okay yung answer ninyo. Kung ano magustuhan niyo. Yung mga bata, kung ano magustuhan niyo, kapag hindi mo binigay, iiyakan ka, maglulupasay. Eh, kayong tanda-tanda niyo, ganyan pa rin ang sagot ninyo. Gusto ko. Wala na ba kayong mabigat-bigat pang dahilan kung bakit kayo nandi dito sa manawag? Di ba umaasa kayo ng sagot ko? Merong katwiran na mabigat, nakarapat dapat sa aking katandaan. Abe, eh, ngayon ang mga tao, Diyos ko, sabi kong ganun, mukha yata dumadami yung katulad ni Herodes. Ang gusto mangyari, yung gusto lang nila. Ayan, nagpasukan. Nagtatanong ako doon sa mga estudyante sa kolehiyo. Oh, bakit yung kursong yan ang kinuha mo? Sabi kong ganun. O ano mga sakot ng iba? Wala lang. Type ko lang. Matino bang sagot yun? Eh, nung araw, ano, yung mga bata, ano? Anong araw, matagal na yun, tanda na ako, kaya kinukwento ko sa inyo. Kapag ka tinatanong ko, o bakit yan ang kursong kukunin mo? Eh, alam niyo po eh, mahirap lang kami eh, marami po kayong magkakapatid, ginagapang lang po ng aking ama at ina itong pag-aaral ko. Ito po, gusto ko pong matapos agad. Pagkatapos, 
magtatrabaho o tutulungan ko po si tatay at nanay para makapag-aral naman yung mga nakakabata kong kapatid. O, oh, kita nyo yung dahilan? Pagmamalasakit sa pamilya, pagmamahal sa kapwa, hindi yung bakit siya nang kukunin mo? Eh, type ko lang. Gusto ko lang. mag interview ka minsan ng mga ikakasal o bakit siya pakakasalan mo? Feeling ko eh. Feeling. Kung maligo ka lang, maalis na yung feeling na yan. Type ko po siya. Type mo. Eh, nung araw, pag tinanong mo yung babae o lalaki, ba't siya ang gusto mong pakasalan? Eh, matagal na din po kaming magkatipan. Mukha po yatang nagtutugma ang aming mga ugali. Iyon, di ba? At saka magalangin po yan sa matatanda. Mukhang magkakaayos po ng aking mga magulang. May matatag na trabaho na po, kaya na pong magdala ng pamilya. At saka po tapat sa kanyang salita. Hindi po kagwapuhan, pero maipagmamalaki mo naman at maipipresenta pa ninyo. Oh, kita ninyo may dahilan ninyo, ha? Nung una ko pong makita, ay, labi ko, feeling ko, siya na. Oh. Eh, paano kung di mo na feeling? Gusto ko lang. Nung araw, pag nagsasalita ka, may patabi-tabi ka kapag ka nagsasalita. Totoo ba yung sasabihin ko? Tama bang panahon ito para sabihin ko sa kanya? Hindi kaya masaktan siya? Pagpapaliban ko ba? Mga ganyan pa, no? Sabihin mo, no? Kaibigan ko, eh. Ngayon, nung lumaganap ang social media, kahit na ano nilalagay doon, oo, oh, oh. kahit mura, walang pakundangan yan. Ting! Mumurahin, oh. Bakit mo minura? Eh, bakit? Kilala mo ba? Hindi. Ayaw mo ba na sinabi? Oo. Bakit ano ba sinabi? Pinag-aralan mo ba yung sinabi nung kabila? Hindi. Hindi ko lang type. O baka may nasaktan ka, wala akong pakialam. Tuntuwa siya, nakabas siya sa isang araw na yon. Hindi niya alam, may nasaktan siya. Bakit ba ganun ngayon tayo, ano? Kung ano nga gustuhan. Kesyo ka nakasagasa. Kesyo ka nakasakit ng damdamin. Wala nang pagmamalasakit sa kapwa. Pagmamahal sa tao. Dumadami Herodes. Dumadami Herodes. Kaya hindi ako nag nagtataka kung bakit maraming napupugutan ng ulo katulad ni Juan Bautista. We all stand to pray. For every intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the Church may fulfill with courage her prophetic mission of proclaiming the Gospel without fear or compromise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that government servants may have consciences based upon the bedrock of personal integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that our community may stand up and speak out for justice and human dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that the trials of life may not discourage us, but that our faith may grow through them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Master of the Order and his assistants, and for our brothers and ministry at Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Rosary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the preaching and example of St. John may inspire those who live in the shadow of death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, grant us the courage that in the midst of all pressures to be unfaithful to the truth, to be unfaithful to our commitment as Christians, we might like be John the Baptist to always be steadfast in our commitment to what is true and good. We ask you this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the divine works of human hands, this will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through these offerings which we bring to you, O Lord, grant that we may make straight your paths as taught by that voice crying in the desert, St. John the Baptist, who powerfully seated, sealed his teaching by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise you, great glory, for you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing. Even in the womb, he leapt for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the Lamb of redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so with powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim.
pinagpala ang naparirito sa ngala ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kaitasan. O sana, o sana, sana sa kaitaasan. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Sa krus mo at pagkabuhay, kami nagtuo sung tunay. O Jesus, na iman, ilitas mo kami ng tanan. O Naming mahal, mayon at magpakailanman. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, our auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master, the other preachers and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic, Saint Francis, Saint John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Amen. 
Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Over one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The friend of the bridegroom, who waits and listens for his return, rejoices when he hears his voice, so now my joy is complete. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, 
born of the house of his servant David, through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The friend of the bridegroom, who waits and listens for his return, rejoices when he hears his voice. So now my joy is complete. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, as we celebrate the heavenly birth of St. John the Baptist, that we may revere for what it signifies, the saving sacrament we have received, and even more may rejoice at its clear effects in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 2, 2022. We invite you to participate in our Novena Masses, which will start from September 23 to October 1, 2022. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Please all stand. Kami po ito ang puso nagpapasalamat sa lahat sa inyo na nagsidalo at pakiisa sa pagdiliwang ng ating Santa Eucharistia na way pagpatuloy niyo po ang pagdarasal para sa aming mga naglilingkod sa inyo dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag at makakaasa kayo na ipagpapatuloy din namin ang pagdarasal para sa inyo at sa inyong mga minamahal sa buhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we pray for the sick and then followed by prayer for the blessing of your rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness. Restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.